I have been waiting six years for this Deadpool 3 trailer to drop, and I'm not about to wait a minute longer. So let's go. Happy birthday <laughs> to okay. you. Bro, just yes. her. All right, okay. Um, it's been Brian a challenging few years, for sure. But I'm happy. Are you? That is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. Good up, Vanessa. Dope and Make a wish, buddy. I just thought it meant to say. Wait, Wilson? Who's asking? Okay, TVA. Whoa, 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 why am I here? Walk with me. That old boy from Sensation. Wait. You are I don't special. I got the suit. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. OK. It's a blow to right there. I you smell when you're stepping in, Sensei. Oh, man, he's your little cinematic there. universe is about to change forever. Very true. I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. <laughs> Bro. I made the set. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah, please. Oh my god! Secret Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope. Yes, sir. I'm not sure. Okay, thank you very much. Day one, July 26th. I'm there the whole weekend. Yes, sir. That is exactly what I wanted out of this Deadpool trailer. My bad. Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, man. Like, we didn't even really just see him until the end of it. But, but first of all, though, was that Pyro from the X-Men? From the X-Men movie that they brought back? A good old Aaron Stanford? Because, hey, man, if it did, look, they did say that they're going to be bringing some X-Men characters back to reprise their role. And if we already getting Pyro, and he did have the shades, too, which makes it even better. But just... Just the way the trailer started off with them at the birthday party, the picture that was on the cake, it looked like that was like everybody that survived the end of Deadpool 2 for the most part. And it's just, and the fact that it comes out in a couple of months, I'm already there day one. The jokes was writing themselves. I mean, all the Disney and Fox innuendo that he was going through, it was basically, you know, it's been a, a good couple of years. Kind of depends on how you look at it in the MCU territory, but he was not lying. This is definitely going to change the MCU for the better. And the TVA showing up isn't too much of a shock either considering he took Cable's ring or whatever and went through all the different multiverses. So it was only a matter of time before they, they passed Woods going to cross. And this does take place after Loki too. So Loki's gone doing his thing. And that's what kind of makes this even more hilarious, the fact that now it's Deadpool's turn basically to be on some Loki type stuff. And I'm just waiting for the moment to where he realizes it's gonna be some BS because I'm pretty sure Miss Minnie is gonna show up. Now the the agents that showed up, you know what I'm saying, to take him away, y'all have to snap the boy wig off. Like I'm just saying he's he's self-conscious about you know his cancer, so you know, that was disrespectful. You know? But at the same time though, yeah, I'm not surprised about them showing up. I'm pretty sure he's gonna realize there's some BS going on, and that's when him and good old Logan is gonna team up. But oh my god, bro, this is that was two minutes and 25 seconds of awesomeness. And I just, yeah, I'm, I'm already ready for this movie, like, off top. It was good to see some familiar faces returning. You know, you saw good old Colossus, Blind Al, one time for Leslie Uggins, man. Good old Dopinger is back, Sugar Bear. 
and look like Matthew McFadden character. Shout out to him too for success. And it looks like his character's gonna be called Paradox, which considering he's working with the TVA, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? With the time in your window. Also, man, shout out to nigga signing Teenage Warhead. And man, I think Jennifer Garner is supposed to like pop up as Electra. So the fact that this is all that we getting in the teaser to just let you know that when the movie drop, oh my God, it's gonna be so ridiculous in a good way. It's to the point to where this is a great adaptation from what I can tell already of, you know, Mar you know, Dev Who Kills the Marvel Universe. Man, when I say that this looks like a perfect introduction for Deadpool into the MCU, I cannot say that enough, dog, because this is exactly what you would expect it to be. This is the perfect blend of like an MCU trailer mixed in with like the, you know, the, the Deadpool Fox trailer. And it just it just flows so well. And that's why I am honestly happy this will be the only MCU movie that we are gonna get this year because this is this is what we're gonna need. Cause now that I think about it as I go back. I thought that was Charles Xavier at first, you know, the shot of the bald-headed person. But now I'm thinking that maybe that's Cassandra Nova, who is based like a Dark Shadow version of, you know what I'm saying, Charles. And is also stronger at the same time, too. So I'm thinking that's maybe who the villain is going to be this time. And maybe she's controlling, you know, like these different variants from different time periods. And that's also why Deadpool got to kind of go and, you know what I'm saying, kill certain people. Kill Scott Summers again. I mean, he was probably one of the most mishandled x-men characters out of the whole what's the name so yeah go ahead and kill scott again actually let wolverine kill scott that'll make it even more funnier like have him punch him in the stomach like he did in the animated series and then just chop his head out best movie ever right there i also loved and noticed the part where he was in the tva and they had like all the different tvs up it was different parts of like different mcu movies I know I saw Iron Man, Avengers, and it was like some on like the smaller screen too that I really couldn't make out. But I'm wondering if those are the moments that they gonna send Deadpool to, you know, to try to like test him out to see how he how he does and see if he's a perfect fit. But that's why I kind of think he maybe he is gonna save Quicksilver because, like I said, that that shot of him in the snow. And when he was whooping them soldiers, <laughs> it kind of looked like that's kind of where, you know, Quicksilver's about to get off that. So yeah, I'm intrigued. And also let me know in the comments, like what notice, what moments did y'all notice as well? And what moments do you want to see him go to from the MCU? Just imagine him popping up in, in Civil War or something like that, like right in the airport when they're about to like do their whole little run in together. He just pop up in the middle and, and say some of the most outlandish stuff possible. Hey, yo, man. Just thank you, Disney, for at least letting this be rated R because you, you oh my God, I can't wait. Yeah, bro. I, I, I can't wait for this, man, for real. I can really, oh my God, I can really spend a lot of time on this trailer breaking it down. I'm not even gonna lie to you because it was so many hilarious moments. That scene of him suiting up and then him kind of busting the splits to raise up. Oh my, that's, oh, that's some Deadpool type stuff. Like, I just, Ryan Reynolds, is the perfect person for this. You can just tell how much he loved the character and we thank him for it because as a person who's always loved Deadpool comics and it's just great to see how much he's been handled since that X-Men Origins Wolverine movie. And to be honest with you, to see how Logan is gonna make a comeback too. I'm wondering what time period they gonna pull him from considering you know, he got off in the Logan movie. So yeah, I just, it's, it's so many questions. I mean, we got plenty of time to get those answers, but just looking at this, man, I just, I just can't wait. It's just the fact that he was fighting in front of the 20th Century Fox, you know what I'm saying, destroy logo. That reload scene was beautiful, by the way. Cinematography on this is gonna be like remarkable. It's just, it's just everything that they doing, dog. Like, yeah, I just can't wait. That scene, that picture of him when he was like just sitting in the car all bloody, like hanging at the car, it's just, yeah, man. I just, thank you. Just, we appreciate you, Disney. Now, it don't look like this is gonna be watered down at all. So once again, just July 26, man, I'm I'm there day one that weekend. I can, that's that's all I got left. That's really all I got left to say. I have no more. Whatever Easter eggs that y'all noticed, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know. Will you be here day one? I you know you know the steal. You know appreciate y'all all that good stuff. I I'm finna watch this probably about five more times and then you know I'll, I'll holler at y'all later.